We're loading up all the all the gunpowder. <laughs> Yo guys, so it's been a few days we've been out here in Dubai. Work is still non-stop. So we've got another ES800 that's getting built there on the ramp. Um, we've done our checks on that ES1100, so that's ready to go out and drag you tonight. So it'll be cool to see what that does. This ES1400 is getting the last few bits and pieces done. And then again, we'll be testing that tonight. And another ES1400 right there as well. That's just getting washed and cleaned. And then that's getting, uh, getting ready for some testing tonight as well. So yeah, it's going to be exciting see what times we can get in these cars out here in the heat so um, yeah it'll be good to see but one other thing I wanted to mention is that here at ES Motor DXP it's not only your Porsche that we can increase the power in but we can also help with the cosmetics as well one of our customers had some uh, bucket seats that he bought his interior is currently red and he wanted the new bucket seats to match the uh, the rest of his red leather so as you can see here this is one of the seats getting prepped up at the minute as you can see it's completely black leather with the black leather inserts as well so they'll meticulously ensure that that's all prepped properly. And as you can see there, that's the other one in progress. So um, yeah, it's getting dyed in full red. This is just during the process at the minute. So uh, yeah, that should be done later on today. And then you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. And it'll be 100% matched to the interior of that, of that car as well. That's gonna be in the ES1100. So, um, so yeah, keep watching and we'll show you the results. Like, you know what, let me offer him all the good food. Like, he doesn't even offer us what's the good stuff. <laughs> it can work because we're skinny out of it. Everyone thinks we're coming on holidays, it's not been a holiday. Nah, it's not it's holiday. I haven't even seen the Burj Khalifa. I just went outside, looked underneath the car park, and went back out again. <laughs> That's it. Where are we now? We are in uh, Al Bayruti. Courtesy of Emre, but he's going toilet I think now. So. Some Lebanese cuisine. Where are you going? I'm Where? getting half your chicken, bro. Plain and basic, as usual. This is his, yeah, Rubais' heritage, Lebanese. <laughs> you know, he loves this stuff. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, my partner's Lebanese, so yeah. No, your partner, your wife. My wife. Yeah, my partner. Right, well, guys, so it's about midnight here. Yeah? And because it's so hot in here, we have to wait late night until we're going to test the car. So it's nice and cool now. It's probably about 27, 28 degrees, a nice cool breeze. So we're just going to load up uh, the truck over there now with some race fuel. And these cars, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, we can go out testing. I don't know where it is, these guys know a road that's uh, pretty much quiet. And hopefully not too much police around. The police are really strict around there, so we're going to have to be very, very careful. Um, we're trying to get some, some runs and some tuning done, but... Yeah, stay tuned, keep watching, and wish us luck, man. Hopefully, we get some good numbers. You know that, I swear. <laughs> Who are you robbing, bro? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Who are you robbing? Uh, what, uh, look, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> Where are we going, bro, at 12 o'clock? Yeah, We're loading up all the, all the gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> my hair, they messed up. <laughs> See, people already Race. commenting on my hair. Might as well get his guns in here as well, bro. Just a pinch, man. I need it? to get your guns, apparently. My gun? No, your gun, this one. <laughs> <laughs> you got my gun, it's not here. Do the size of your guns, bro. Bro, do that again, let me see, yeah. see your guns. Bro, you got it. I feel like hiding mine now, bro. Like this. <laughs> do it this one time. Mashallah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
1400. ES 1400. ES 1100. ES 800. That just got complete now. And ES 800. So that's five so far. That one literally came in and done within like a <laughs> couple of hours. He was already ES 750. So oh, ES 750. Oh, yeah. The turbos. It was just the turbo swap today. Uh, I've been using the All adaptive. you gotta do is show the steering wheel, that's it. And okay. then you know if it's got right, No, no, start the car because if everything functions, it's on the steering wheel. Yeah, it's One just, second. all you gotta do is just flip. Start the car. Because it's hilarious. Car. Yeah. Go on, turn go, the camera go. around. Turn the camera around. Okay. Should I put the light on? Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. The adapter, love it. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> properly, I'm not even looking on. at the car's wheel. Yeah, the there, there. Look, remember, go on the steering wheel on the left hand side. Yeah, right there. No, no. Stay and roll, stay and roll. No, 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 no. Yeah, down. one second, go left, 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 left. left. Those buttons there, T. Look, one second, bro? one second. You know those three buttons, T? That means the distance oh! of the car to the front. Oh! Oh! Okay, oh! thank you very much. Oh! Oh! One second, oh! one second. Oh! 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 Oh See, shit! Come on, bro. Oh, I'm telling you, shit. I know my it's car, bro. Not. Bro, that bro, is, but that is adaptive, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. But, Thank you very much. But, so you're no, pissing no, no. me off for but, no reason. No, no, but the thing is, no, no. The thing is, you were sitting in the R6. I said, I said, I'm not even adaptive, bro. And you are not say, this is going to teach you. So what lesson is it going to teach me? I know my cars. Thank you very much. You were sitting in the R6, yeah? Thank you. Adaptive has changed my life because I use the R6 all the time. He, 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 you Hello? didn't even mention the Volvo. Bro, where I learned it was on the Volvo. Volvo is the one I've been driving back and forth from he work. Bro, you've been driving the RS6. Do you bro, know why? It was the Volvo, Volvo. you've driven like three times. Yeah, and that's know, where I used it. Because on the RS6, Volvo I'm like... Do you, know why, do you know why I believed him? Because he said to me that it's on the Volvo. I said, hey, the Volvo doesn't have you. Yeah, it does, trust me. I was like, okay. I said, well, why don't you use it on the RS6? He goes, I'm it's too complicated. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. Bro, cruise control is adaptive in the RS6. No, bro, it's a button there. I swear the button is so annoying, it's confusing. <laughs> bro, you did it in front of me. He said to like, me. Oh, how do I reduce it? You were doing it right there no, in front of me. it was confusing. I swear it was confusing. This guy's <laughs> lost himself. See, look, he I proved him wrong he, now. He, he wants to prove me wrong. No, to me. you were. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Were you in the RS6 with me, yes or no? Yeah. And were so you not using the adaptive cruise in the RS6? And did you not I say in the control. RS6? No, no I bro, use, what is uh, cruise control? Yeah, no, no, adaptive because oh there's a button God. that you press when it's it goes to... No, no it's the same you thing. can't use non-adaptive cruise control. Yeah, it's okay, it's then, not adaptive, there's only, there's only one cruise Adap control yeah, adaptive is You automatic. used it, yeah, yeah. and what did you say to me? Yeah, it, I, I can't remember. No, oh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> See, you didn't talk about no Volvo. Remember. You're like, oh, bro, but, there's adaptive cruise, it's so sick. And I'll tell you exactly what I said. I said this is exactly why T wants adaptive cruise in every car he gets. Yeah. I remember our conversation word for word, bro. listen, what did I tell you? I said Volvo. Okay, let, let me Thank talk. You yeah, let me talk. Yeah, let me Thank you very much. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Thank the you only much. reason I believed him was because he said, because I know on the RS6 no, so where the adaptive told is, me, right? that Volvo got adapted. Yeah. Saying, no, it doesn't have And adaptive. he said to me, he said to me, oh, no, 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 I prefer it on the yeah, Volvo because it's on the steering wheel and it's easier. But I know yeah, on the yeah, RS6, no. it's not on the steering wheel. Yeah, it's on the. It's, it's just down here. It's like the store. But that's what he when he was with me, he was talking about using it in the RS6. He goes, this is why I love this car. I can't believe adaptive. the Volvo's got adaptive. Bro, on, I and I'm coming back, I put 85 miles an hour, one button, dunk, and adaptive's on with the car breaking well, itself. But the I'm thing like, is, sick. I drove that. I didn't even go into adaptive. See, there you go. See? See, he was like, this is going to teach me a lesson. <laughs> but I drove it for two days. It didn't go into adaptive once. See, that's because, bro, maybe you didn't clock that. It's easy. No, but you can't put it into cruise without it going into adaptive. No, no, I swear there's a button that you press to go into adaptive. Because I find the RS6 so confusing. I'm like, bro, how the hell do I put adaptive? 
on this. Bro, it doesn't break. Listen, the RS6 is very similar to the KN here. Literally, this yeah. is on the side. Listen, you see this stalk down here? Yeah. I literally flick it forward. Yeah. Turns it on. Okay? Yeah. And then the distronic is just this little button inside here. I flick it up and down. Bro, he knows it inside out. We would, he was like, using it. That in front of you. And you see where it says ACC? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you see when I do that, it's like four cars away. So that's like my distance to the car. Bro, he's done yeah? all bro, of this. I, I swear to God, I did And we even changed the setting didn't. on there for your safety oh, okay, thing so it doesn't break automatically. Yeah, just switch it off and it still switches on, bro. But that's Custom. the thing, it'll stop you from crashing. No, bro, it's still Listen, bro, it's an RS6. How can you call it? Bro, I, I, I tried taking a gap and it pressed the brake on me twice. Yeah, okay, it, you know why it does that? It's got Audi presense, you can turn that shit off. Yeah, we did. We did, no, and it still pressed the brake on me, bro. I was like, you know Custom, what? you know, the RS6 <laughs> done that to me a couple of times, give me a heart attack. Yeah. There you go. And I wasn't really... looking and it was slamming emergency <laughs> brake, bro. My heart's about to pull out my chest. Yeah, it does it even when you're reversing uh, out. The Bentley does no, it. No, but well. you know what the worst thing is? It slams the brake yet and it still goes. I'm like, what the hell's going on, bro? Custom. Did you see that adaptive, bro? <laughs> Do bear jumpers, the before you piss them off. See, adaptive, bro. No, no it's good. It's easy, bro. <laughs> one, one, with one button on the steering wheel. Adaptive button. Did you win? I won the, bro, I won the battle. Easy. Oh, yeah. T spotted me like 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yep, you got him. <laughs> no, 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 well, no. Like you know what it is? This is uh, what it is, is he twisted it. When oh. he was sitting with me, he goes to me, the RS6 is sick because it's got adaptive cruise. That's what he said, and now he's trying to act like he doesn't even know the RS6 has got it up. Who doesn't want to be in front of the camera? No, Mr. T, T himself. In Dubai, bro. Every time and I catch he him, he's running away. <laughs> he does the same thing in England. <laughs> Come on, T, show us your face, please. He has got the Montclair top on. He's got the what? He's got the Montclair top on, check him out. Let's go. <laughs> right, that's that done. Posted. He's too busy, look at him, he's still hiding. Who? Oh, T just doesn't oh, want to be in front of the camera because <laughs> he's got a Montclair top on. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. I don't want. I don't want to like. <laughs> I'll, I'll just take it off and I'll like turn it around. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing, Eddie? We are taking some lovely pictures of these two cars that we've done here in Dubai. Yeah, but who bought us here? Who showed us the location? From the main man. You want me to say something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're gonna be muted. Yo guys! <laughs> that. And the job back. <laughs> so these guys came all the way from the UK and they're like, oh, give us a good spot in Dubai where we can go and, you know, take some shots. And uh, guys, we've got some better stuff coming later on. But yeah. I bought them to Maidan Bridge, you've got beautiful views of Burj Khalifa here, this beautiful bridge which for some reason seems very deserted and there's no cars going up and down it. But we've got some beautiful shots for you guys. Perfect. You're taking notes for me. Had to, uh, to be in front of camera. Yeah, <laughs> He's like a natural. Isn't natural isn't yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> So it is 3 a.m. at the minute and we're still out here testing. So the ES1400 Plus, uh, we've just done a, a base run on that at the minute and then we're just going to put some ethanol in it now and then it's over to Rebase to try and get some 100 to 200 numbers out of it. 
we'll slowly turn it up and see how it goes. Uh, ES800 behind you, we've been running that, that's, uh, that's a low four second car, so that'll be running four twos by the end of the night. And we've got another ES1100 and another ES1400. The other ES1400, the black one, so far on pump fuel, uh, only at 1.5 bars, ran a 3.8. Um, not much timing compared to what we put on the UK cars because pump fuel for us over there is much better than, than it is over here. Um, but yeah, that's been running pretty good. And um, the ES1100 is going out for another run now. So he's just again, just doing some pump fuel tuning as well. So yeah, we will um, keep you updated and let, let you know how we get on. So yeah, another late, on the ES1100. yeah, another late night tuning session done yeah. for this car. It's like 4:30 in the morning now. Right? Yeah, so basically it's a ES1100 package. Mm -hmm. uh, on the last test, it got 100 to 200 in 3.3 kilometers uh, seconds. Sorry, 3.3 seconds. So with some spin, so I would assume it should be around 3.1, 3.2. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it does what it's meant to do. So what it says, yeah, yeah, exactly. 1100 wheel horsepower right there. Yeah, exactly. That's good. So now we got the the other ES1400 has gone out. Right? Yeah, the, the two ES1400 has gone out. So yeah, we'll see, see what they do. If Rabais can find his way back, he's a bit lost for the minute. <laughs> yeah. so if, if, we, if he does come back, then we'll Maybe get another run out of the white one. has gone his, to his country he's or something. <laughs> yeah, he's driven to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> he's put Pakistan in his hat now, he's on his way there now. <laughs>
I'm catching the nails. Yeah, he's going to go to Ghana, ill. Isn't it? You know what I mean? I just came back from Oscar, so it's alright. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, he's actually not going Ghana. Say it alay kasem. Are you actually joking? Bro, you... Bro, nah, wallahi, at first I knew they were trying shit, then they made me believe that they're telling me they're telling the truth. Are you being serious? Did you know about this? Everyone did. <laughs> bro, this whole trip. <laughs> bro, I was already thinking. I was on phone checking like what, what's we there to do. What's there to do? Get paid. <laughs> no, I didn't care about the money. But what I did care about was bro seeing Ghana, bro. That's sick. I was actually looking forward to it. Bro, are you actually being serious? Bro, I said to God last two days. Even Emery is messaging me. Yeah, you're going 100%. They need you to do that. <laughs> You know what? I didn't believe them. I swear to God, I didn't believe them. But they made me believe that I am going. So even till now, I still think that I was going. Are you actually being serious? I'm not going. You're not going? Say custom. Custom, you're not going. Oh, you lot take the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you lot take the mic, I swear. Are you actually being serious? Yeah, legit, you're not going. Bro, all that time, you guys made me... You know, I knew it, you got the line, right? You made me believe. Yeah. I was like, you're saying it, he's probably telling me the truth. <laughs> I ain't believing him next time. That's well, it. I, I ain't believing him. Yeah. That's it. You're always paying pranks on people. Yeah. Emery gets it all the time. What? Are you being serious? I'm not actually going Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but seriously. Legit, you're not going, bro. So we made a ticket for him. Everything. There was an actual ticket made. <laughs> You know, Emre convinced him, Taha told him, everyone told him. Yeah. I messaged Taha separately, I'm like, T, <laughs> am I actually going? He's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> and Emery sent me the ticket, bro. I swear. Let's see the ticket, bro. Wait, look, here. Here's the ticket, one second. Let me just zoom in. Look, Rubey's Ghalib, look. Ticket's right there. <laughs> and I've been telling everyone I'm going Ghana, now I look like an idiot. <laughs> you guys, oh, man. bro, it's been like 24 oh. hours they've been telling me. <laughs> Only yeah. Sam's going Ghana. Daddy's going to uh, to DXB to finish off a few jobs that we got out there. Yep. And, and we'll uh, finalise them. Rebase is uh, going to be at home. <laughs> to London, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm alright in London. No, we just we just came back from Dubai last week, so it's alright. So yeah, you guys are in your house, you know. Yeah, no, that's why we get ill together, bro. Here in the minus <laughs> one degree. <laughs> well, these yeah. guys enjoy thirty degrees. Exactly. But, but guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support so far this year. Um, hopefully, you guys can keep subscribing, keep watching all the videos, and make sure you share the you channel and, uh, and keep Hopefully watching. Man. We've got lots more in store for 2023. And um, yeah, hopefully, Sam might remember to record some stuff in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe he never even told me. I know. He'd be recording and send the videos. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? Be honest. What? That wasn't I only knew about half an hour ago. <laughs> oh, see, that's alright. He, he, he knew from the, from the morning. I've got a good yeah. question. Sam, what was your highlight of this year for being here? A highlight? Oh, mate, I don't know. Is it really that hard? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bit nose, to be fair. It's like, like going Ghana. Hey, his highlight, I know what it was. It was me and Jamie, innit? <laughs> Oh, he yeah. was gas. I was gas. I was to beat Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> That's his I'm highlight. Of being on a first name basis with Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like officially gassed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember his face. Is that Jamie? I'm like, yeah, that is Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> That's his highlight of the year. Oh, man, so oh second highlight, I know. Bro, it's his dream to drive one of these Porsches and he's still 19, he's still a kid, so unfortunately he's, he's just yet. passed. Next year. He's got now, yeah. 21, 21 is the minimum wow. age. <laughs> No, you have to be 21. Next year on track, we'll let him drive something. Yeah, on the track, yeah. And I'll, I'll be a better driver than you. I'll oh, be oh, 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 oh. Wow, you're hearing that. What say? I'll be a better driver than you. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Have you seen his I shoe size? I'll put a bet on it. I'll put a bet on it. <laughs> you want, oh, you want to put a bet? That's right. Do you want to beat numbers? You want to put a bet? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Wait, All right. Train me up, yeah. No, we're <laughs> you got training. No training. There's no training. <laughs> you got training me up now. No training. Uh, you know who I got my training from? This guy here. <laughs> and guess what? On what? On, on bloody ES 1400. Yep. From a Prius to 1400. Like, it doesn't even make sense. 80 horsepower to 1400 wheel horsepower. That's the best way to jump. Isn't it? Yeah, no, exactly. Great, literally. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, you ready, yeah? yeah? You just made a challenge live I'll on camera. Off, but get that purple <laughs> Porsche here. You can test drive that one. That one's going to... That one's going to... No, 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 the purple Porsche. My purple Porsche. I got oh, the garage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I'll put some pedals in it. Put some pedals in it. Sorry. <laughs> you need a bigger battery. Yeah, but it's still got me up to get short on it to 21. In it. <laughs> oh man, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh okay, man, cool. yeah. Well, Next year though, man, that is where we're going to hit it even harder. This year, we've smashed it with these ES builds, the ES 1100s, ES 1200s, <laughs> and now we've obviously got an ES 1300 that was still near completion, and all the ES 1400s that we've built, they've been 1010. You look at Mimraj's one. That thing just annihilated everything. And then you've got a Mears one that's just constant running good numbers. So yeah, watch out for next year because um, we've built a few cars, but they haven't made it to the track yet because of weather reasons and stuff like that. But um, yeah, next year's going to be a very good year. So stay tuned. And I think not just in the UK, even in like when we were in Dubai last week, the weather was so hot, it was like 30 degrees yeah, really and the numbers were still exactly the same what we're getting here. All right, uh, no, I the numbers were exactly the same. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. say what they are. Oh, no, 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 numbers I'm not going to say. It's, I'm just trying to show, it just pro proves that no matter which country we're in, no matter what the temperature is, yeah. ES always proves that there's no BS. Yes, <laughs> no BS. Yes, no BS, exactly. The BS could be big smoke. And, oh, big smoke. <laughs> big smoke. <laughs> BS with a BS. That's it. We will be back in 2023 now, guys. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, keep watching, and. Man's got his two pack handout. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that two pack? That's right. <laughs> when have you been listening to two pack, bro? <laughs>